Hi, and welcome to the WinDBG Fundamentals Kernel Mode course here on Pentester Academy. My name is Pavel and I'll be your guide throughout this course. And welcome to Module 2 Basic Kernel Exploration. With the kernel debugger set up properly, we can now go ahead and start to look at various kernel entities and learn various commands that are related to the kernel in Windows. We'll start with processes and see how processes are represented and managed in Windows and then go over to look at modules, jobs and threads. Now I'm assuming that you have some experience with Windows and you know these terms to some extent because we're going to look at some of the details that typically are used when looking at these kinds of objects. So briefly a process is an isolation containment object that provides all the resources necessary to execute code. And so one process is isolated from another. Threads are the actual entities that execute code on processors. They're being scheduled by the kernel's scheduler. We have something called a job, and a job manages a set of one or more processes, typically providing some form of limits to, uh, to these processes. And then we have various modules. So we can think of modules just like DLLs, however, kernel modules are typically drivers. And so one thing we should be aware of is how memory is laid out in a typical Windows system. So on 32-bit Windows, we have a 2 gigabyte address space by default per process, which means that all the addresses from 0 to 7 with many Fs are relative to the appropriate process. So if I ask something like what's in address 10,000, the next question should be in which process do you mean? However, kernel space is just a singleton, there's just one kernel. This means that the upper two gigabytes of address space that belong to kernel space, all these addresses are absolute. And so if I'm asking something like what's in address nine with all zeros, that that's good enough. We don't have to provide any more context information. And we'll see how it's that represented when we look at the debugger itself. 64-bit windows is exactly the same, however the numbers are different. So we have 128 terabytes of user process address space on Windows 8.1 and later for each process, and we have 128 terabytes of system address space. And again, that means that the kernel space or system space, these addresses are absolute, but addresses in user space are relative to the appropriate process. So we need to be careful if we want to access user more addresses from the kernel debugger. And by the way, the entire 64-bit address space is not used today. It is too vast and most of it, in fact, is unmapped and cannot be used uh, today due to uh, actual processor or hardware limitations. In any case, if you are working with older versions of Windows, that is Windows 8 or Windows 7, then the address space for uh, each process is 8 terabytes and 8 terabytes for the system. In any case, let's start looking at processes and that will give us a sense of how to kind of move around in kernel space. <laughs> 